Hey, what's going on YouTube? Very exciting news we got that we signed Kenny Galladay, former Detroit Lions wide receiver. Um, tell you the truth, I feel like we should at least make the playoffs. And I know it's very delusional, but, you know, depending on what we do in the draft, um, as long as we stay with a good defense, um, we got a shot at the title, you know? But mostly due to all you have to do is make the playoffs. You got a shot. That's it. That's all that matters. Once you make the playoffs... Just like everybody else, we got a shot. So, we got a good core of our guys. And they know that, you know, we're not quitters. They're, they're going to play through. So, we, we're basically getting an upgraded offense, a lot better upgraded offense. You say, how? How's that? Because Saquon really wasn't there all year. He played nothing. He got hurt. And Daniel Jones got his experience with a much, much, like, uh, harder team to overcome to, to win games with. So that was a good thing in a way. Um, the only thing is is how he protects the ball. That's the biggest problem. That's as far as we can go, and that goes to all quarterbacks, but mostly Daniel Jones. Um, when he protects the ball, we're, we're pretty good. Er, like, just um, fumbling is a huge issue with him. Interceptions are gonna happen, and we'll see how he does with uh, another weapon added to the arsenal Kenny Galladay and Saquon back so I'm excited for that wondering where they're gonna draft no other better place for the Giants to pick up is another lineman because you always they always have problems with the linemen especially with Daniel uh, being sacked. So that's the, like I said, that's the first thing you would think after picking up a wide receiver because when we feel the need, we needed to fill the wide receiver need, I thought they would possibly draft a wide receiver, but they're not. A lot of teams are going after quarterbacks in the first um, round, first 10 picks. I don't remember right now exactly. I don't know where we sit. I know it's less than 15 I think it's 12 if I remember correctly I know we're after Dallas I know it wasn't 10 or anything I know it's like 10 to 15 but it's not 15 anyway uh, and if they don't go for our linemen because you know we lost um, well we didn't lose we just didn't like keep them uh, Well, at least we got this guy back. Uh, that um, what's his name? Nate Solder. Nate Solder. Uh, he's he's coming back. He didn't play last year because of COVID, and uh, so damn, my mind right now is uh, Zeitler. Uh, we didn't sign him. Got where we went to. I think we went to Baltimore. I don't remember exactly. Um, but um, so we need to like bolster that um, that lineup. Um, if not, we go back to uh, filling up the defense. Um, we just lost. Um, what's his name right now? I can't think. He went to Minnesota. My mind right now, but anyway, uh, we lost that uh, defensive tackle, 
and um, like those two um, spots usually need to get filled. Most importantly, it, it all depends on who they have high on their draft board. Who's the highest ranked player? We don't know. Uh, as you saw, they had Daniel Jones very high that year. So they picked them. So it all depends on who they have. Getting close to the uh, draft, you'll know because like we picked up some guys in free agency. So um, it all depends on the need that we picked up. And um, the, the need that we didn't pick up is the one that they're going to go for. Or if we already got it, we're just trying to like make sure that we got enough of it because guys tend to get injured. And that goes to all positions, but again, to whatever position, because I'm not 100% sure where the need was here and there. Defense was pretty good. Um, I know defense tend to usually go for the front or the back end, which is the cornerbacks, safeties. We got Jabril uh, Peppers, still really good. Good set of uh, cornerbacks. Um, so I don't think we will, but it's always good to add another one. It's always good. You, always, I mean, that's why you draft every year. But it all depends, again, um, who, who's really good. Uh, if other years he would be higher, um, As far as the, that position and skill because this year a lot of players in different positions are going to be pushed back due to the quarterback need of so many teams so they're trying to fish for the next quarterback it is the game of all teams you're always fishing for the next quarterback you're always trying see what he does Guys get injured. Guys win you games, but don't take you to the playoffs. Take you one time or whatever. Just that game with the quarterback. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And what else? That's it. But I am excited for Kenny Galladay, uh, wide receiver. Um, he, uh, he's big. The highlights that I've seen, he makes great catches. So that that's good to see. The one thing I don't see is like highlights of how many uh, easy catches that he dropped. I don't know that stat. But nobody talks about that. Mostly it's if he's really good. So again, um, he's not like they say a uh, household name as much because there's other guys that that always make the highlight or they always do something more for their team. And two, Detroit is not a huge market. Um, so we'll see as far as... Uh, what he does for us. First thing is uh, want him to stay healthy throughout the whole time he's with the Giants. Uh, hopefully, he helps us win the championship, and hopefully, becomes a Hall of Famer. That that's all I can hope for as far as when we draft guys, sign guys that came from another team, whatever, man. You know, anything's possible. Um, you just never know if he's gonna click really good with. Uh, Daniel Jones will go down as one of the best duos to ever do it. You know, M many quarterbacks, you know, need that. And if you're going to be great, you got to need you. You need that one wide receiver, which rarely happens, and um, it needs to happen for us. We we need to have a, a great duel last for a long time. The one that Eli had and it went away, well, he wasn't going to be there any much longer, I think, as far as holding his prime, was uh, Plaxico. Plaxico was a great wide receiver that Eli had, and um, it's unfortunate what happened. It did. 
but I feel like that just happens to us a lot. Like we get these things that normally it doesn't happen to other teams that I see because it's just, I only worry about my team, but it's just things like um, shooting yourself in the foot. I'm trying to remember uh, anybody else that shot himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just I don't know. It's just that the whole um, DeAndre Baker supposedly was. Uh, possibly robbing somebody and he didn't and the Chiefs signed him you know we, we lost him that that was a first round draft pick and you know you can't get that back you know doing things like that I, I can't even think of other things it just I, I don't like remembering bad things like that but it just things that happen to the Giants I don't know uh, as far as like players doing stuff and that's out of the uh, the people that select them, to, you know, or bring them into the organization. That, that, that just falls on the player. But it just seems like we got this weird thing going on. And even then, we were still able to overcome and win a second championship. Oh, I just remembered. Uh, and he won a championship this year. JPB uh, blew up his hand. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Very weird things that you look around the league. Nope, it doesn't happen to nobody else. And it's like, that messes us up. He was supposed to stay a giant forever. He's a great player. That messed me up too when he left. I'm, I was very happy and rooting for him when he um, played with the Buccaneers this year with uh, with Tom. They won, but uh, very upset that uh, he did that. And, you know, not more than him, but still as a fan um, that wants to see his team to succeed and all the players you know, stay as long as possible as a giant. Like I said, um, JPP's possibly, a, I, I, I see a Hall of Fame quality, but again, I'm not the person that selects them. Like I said, I'm hoping that um, Kelly Galladay, uh, the highly likeness for him to win, to be into the uh, the Hall of Fame, and even Saquon. Uh, Saquon's a great running back, but we know that like high rated uh, high drafted running backs rarely win a Super Bowl now that just got scratched off by Leonard Fournette but that was because he went to another team so not saying that you know the team that picks a draft a quarter of uh, running back and that that's great that's possible Hall of Fame uh, material it just seems unlikely that we're going to win a, a Super Bowl like that just by having a great back from the modern times. I don't know. It just doesn't happen. You, you can see. But I'm, I'm hopeful. That's why we all watch and, and you root and you see them. So, but that's just something that I have in the back of my mind. But I'm hoping that, you know, this whole core right now um, can win a Super Bowl or two. You know, so why stop at one? I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'll be happy for another, like, 15 or 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it happens. I'm hoping that it happens within the next five years. I don't expect it to happen this year, but I'll be super thankful that, that it did. So, but, um, because anything can happen, man. All the pieces just fall perfectly aligned. Perfect. And, um, when we get that, that ring, you know? So... But um, another issue that I have, which they got another guy. So he won't be throwing the ball to as much. And plus we got uh, uh, more of a number one wide receiver option. And hopefully Darian Slayton uh, becomes more of a number one. Is um, Evan Ingram. Tends to drop balls. Like I said, I don't know how... Like, what the, can he do as far as uh, dropping balls where they in key drives, key spots where we needed them to win the game? Because you could drop balls and the game would be out of hand and, and it doesn't matter. Or oh, whatever, you know. You know, these are going and, and uh, these are losing by 20 already. And okay, but, you know, he ends up still catching better catches throughout the game, but like meaningful catches when it counts is Evan Ingram. He's done that a lot. It's Evan and 
Daniel Jones are big keys to winning the game. And if they're both not playing at the highest level, meaning championship level, we're never going to get anywhere. These guys always set us back. Those right there are big kinks. Um, really, uh, I understand that Saquon not being there, but it's just he's a pro bowler now, but he's not what other uh, tight ends around the league, Travis Kelsey, even Gronk, you don't see that. You don't see things of, that, that Evan Ingram does that, like, like we're, we're, we need you, man. We need you. And if you're one of the best wide receivers, uh, he's basically a wide receiver, and if you're one of the best tight ends in the game, because that's basically what they're saying, you're one of the best, not saying you are, Evan, but you're one of the best, and you gotta you gotta stay up up top and barely make any mistakes, man. You gotta be like on, man, and and hopefully I get it. Daniel's the one throwing you the ball. He has to serve it up right. So I'm hoping that Daniel corrects, have a way he's trying to throw you the ball throughout the season, and that you just uh, keep making plays and uh, just make less negative plays. Both of you. So that's it. We need that. We need that. That's it. All right. Um, I talked long enough. Like I said, I'm very excited. Uh, just got me thinking football again right now when there's really no sign of football. So, but um, go Giants. All right. Peace.